Howdy folks, Synthetic Mason here, and today I bring you a brand new Mott. One of the my own Transformer builds here. Um, I was working on Blades, the little red and white helicopter, also Decepticon. Um, gotta go back in the shop with that guy. Uh, like I said, I started shooting a video, noticed some flaws in his transformation. Started to fix those and noticed a few more. So we're gonna come back to him. Um, but this guy right here is Lego Transformers Decepticon Sidestep. That's right. We're going to break it up with Sidestep today. <clears throat> he is a little black sort of uh, Silverado ES-10-ish truck. Um, you see, this truck, prior to what I did to it last, or a day ago, um, is the truck I had back in high school. It was an 84 Chevy Silverado. It was my baby. Um, I unfortunately no longer have that vehicle, but back in high school, I made a little black truck to represent said truck. And in a previous video, it was in the background. Um, fortunately, I was able to keep this transformer literally the exact same scale as the truck that I had built years ago. Um, a few differences, obviously. The front end has this nice roll to it, which I like. Um, the grill bumper had to change for reasons, um, but it still suffices. It's got uh, something going on in the tail bed there. Um, funny license plate, cockeyed. And I don't know what uh, what he's carrying there. That's must be car parts. I don't, I don't know. He's hauling stuff somewhere. Anyways. <laughs> so on to Mr. Sidestep here. <clears throat> so uh, sort of the assassin, I guess, would be his characteristics uh, of my Decepticon group. Uh, a guy that's able to normally get in and out without being detected. Although at his size, that shows you how impressive it is. Um, what he has here is actually his gun. And I threw a little thing over, or a little cape over it, so it was like, uh, Megatron's plasma cannon in whatever version of Megatron he was as a truck. Um, this is his gun. Beefy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so on to sidestep, transformation. Uh, first, he's a truck, he rolls. Um, not a very deep bed, but you can put stuff in the back there. Yeah, like, uh, look at this. Tell me if that doesn't look cool. Oh wait, I can one-up that. Tell me if that doesn't look cool. Yeah. I bet, uh, I bet at some point or another they went into battle like this. Anyways, so on to transformation. We are going to start by bending the front of the, of the truck all the way forward. Oh my god. Um, now we will actually take the hood in opposite the direction most hoods go. We are going to lift that open and straighten the hood out. Now we will turn, we will turn, <laughs> turn the wheels so that they're facing away from the body. And then we will take these thigh bits and rotate those so that the hood is now the shins facing forward. And then he has these tiny little feet that come out. Because he's a dancer and he has to stay nimble. No, just kidding. Alright, so there's the legs. Now we can work on this camera here. Hold on. Stuff, things. That'll hold for now. All right, we're gonna turn it upside down 
so you can see it on camera. So then we'll take the, tr the truck bed and actually split it in half without breaking it. Those will go off to the sides. From those, the front comes up, faces out. And then same on the other side. And then you'll take his head and rotate that all the way around. And there we go. Now for his gun, we'll put that right into his hand there. And yeah, he's a guy that means business. Gonna have to hold it. Um, so yeah, that's sidestep, and he's cool as all get out. Check at that. Um, torso is kind of hollow because it's just the cab. Um, I did give him some like back details. He wears his tires like a skirt, which I thought was kind of neat. And then, I don't remember the name of the Transformer from the Bayformers movie, but there was one guy that had, like, the parts of the car was kind of like a trench coat. And that's kind of what I envision here with the truck bed off to the sides. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but, yeah. Um, he did originally have, like, a big bumper that would then turn into a sword. But I'm trying to avoid the parts forming, so I figured a gun is enough. Um, but yeah, and then also, like, oh, darn it. I really like what I did here with the tailgate becoming the fist. So you get this cool, like, punchy fist. <clears throat> and he can stamp his license plate on your forehead. Kind of like uh, Barricade in that most recent one. I think it was Barricade. I don't know. So, yeah. Show you an idea of my Decepticon shaping up. Can you stand for a moment, dude? He's got those ballerina feet. Makes it difficult. Yes. All right, so sidestep. Vibe. Dino tracks. And, wow. For some reason I thought I had another just, well. <laughs> Soon to be Razor. <laughs> so yeah, folks. Um, just wanted to show him. Uh, Want to try and get a few more of these guys going. I've got two liters Another Autobot and a Decepticon to pump out, uh, at least. Uh, ideally, I wanted uh, like a helicopter, a plane, and then my leader. And then for the Autobots, I had a uh, transportation mule, which is like a well, basically what Huffer is. Um, truck like that, a small car, and then the leader. Uh, but we'll see what I can get going. Uh, kind of got busy the last few days. Uh, also, it just rained crazy. And there's like trees and fences down all throughout the neighborhood. So we've got to deal with that. Uh, but hopefully soon I'll be able to get more of these to you. Um, at least Razor, I should be able to finish the next day or so. Um, but as always, folks, thanks for breaking it up with me. And uh, you keep watching them and I'll keep making them. Thank you.